how to get started bike packing or three types of bikes that I've used for traveling or touring by bikes. We're going to talk about each bike, the setup, quick pros and quick cons on each one. So first was a 2015 Specialized Diverge. Here's the setup for going across Europe in 2015, aluminum road bike. I had some very durable 28 millimeter tires, front bag. I actually had two water bottles. I just have one on the bike right now. You can see the rear panniers on the rack, which works really well. And then just for demonstration purposes, I showed you how you can put extra things on there. In this case, a pair of shoes. What I liked about this setup was you can carry a lot of stuff. Those are two 40 liter bags. You have your bag up front. And then I had camping stuff here. What I didn't like about this setup is it's heavy. Um, it's heavy and all of your weight is on the back. So handling is a little bit more difficult. You feel a little bit slower. There's a lot more drag because when you're traveling this way, your profiles become a lot wider in the back. To go from the top to the bottom of New Zealand, Tour Aotearoa, this was the setup. This has really become a favorite setup of mine. We've got the rear bag where all the camping thing fits, the frame bag where I kept all my change of cycling clothes, the front bag I kept my civilian clothes, a little bag off the front of that, it's where I kept my toiletries. Here I kept bars, gels, and everything to change a tire. You can see the two water bottles. And what I liked about this was it was very in line. So there wasn't a lot of extra drag or wind resistance. Um, it's a very sturdy distribution of the weight. And I just felt solid on the bike and it handled well. What I didn't like about it is uh, gravel grinding, it's slow, and we were on a lot of country roads. There is a lot of vibration. I did not buy any kind of future shock to put up in the handlebar system, and obviously it doesn't have any shocks. So my wrists and a little bit of the shoulders could definitely feel the wear and tear. And lastly, or thirdly, this is where I've evolved to. This has now become my favorite, where I have a frame bag where I keep both cycling and clothes off the back, any kind of camping or cycling stuff I want to take. A string bag I actually keep on my back. And then I put my water bottles in my back pockets of my cycling jersey. What I like about this is it's really great if you're getting off an airplane and you need to get to a start of, say, a supported ride. And we'll talk about those in future videos or if you just want to stay super light in super good weather. Um, this is very fast. It's very comfortable. You're all in line, so there's not a lot of additional drag. And you can see it's very lightweight. And I love carbon, but the bad part about carbon is if you're doing day after day after day and you crack your frame, your trip is over. It's not just a dent.